What's up everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play Pixelmon. So today we are going to be working more on our team as we were yesterday. And for this episode, let's try and hit a hundred likes. And if we can do that, I'm going to do a little makeshift tournament tomorrow. So hopefully we can indeed achieve that. And um, what happened here? I don't I don't really know. So that's pretty cool though, nonetheless. And let's see, we got a slowpoke hanging out. And oh yeah, wait, first thing, first order of business. You guys did, I saw one name that I actually really liked. And um, so Jolt neon so because he looks neon so i kind of thought that was pretty good it's similar enough that to jolteon that it's like it's just it's, god damn it, i keep hitting i'm hitting P oh O does bolt oh that's why i'm getting so many problems so where's O in here um minimize maximize overlay um oh maybe it's in this settings i have to change it key oh yeah see there's the problem wait no i hit p uh, night and day, wait, what? Why is this, why can't I use P? Can I use this button? No. No, I, I'm hitting P, all right, whatever, done. So now if I hit P, will it open? No, oh, because P is already used. Um, uh, we could use T, because I don't use T for chat. All right, there you go. So that was just something I had to get out of the way. So is anyone selling Thunderbolt? We'll try this again, and hopefully we will actually be more successful this time. And we, Jolteon will learn Thunder eventually. So, uh, that would be quite nice, and it doesn't look like anyone else is selling that again, because normally people jump right to it, so, uh, Blazing Inferno. So, let's see what we can do. I have Thunder. No, I don't, I don't want Thunder. I, I want Thunderbolt. Eh, it's okay, we can continue on, though, and as we did say last time, we are looking still for, we want to level, level up Sfeel and try and get him, or... Yeah, no, her, her, to as high as a level as possible, as well as we don't want to definitely get Jolteon and Fernape, and maybe, maybe if we're super, oh crap, I didn't want a Thunder Wave, I wanted a Thunder Fang, so uh, we can level up though, so that's awesome for us, so let's continue on, uh, who has what, so you, Sfeel has that, oh, what is this, I got a Covered Fossil, who gave me a Covered Fossil, well, now that we have this, you may as well take advantage of it. So, uh, let's go over here and, uh, hmm, that's interesting. So, is this cleaned or no? No, it's not cleaned. Uh-oh. So, what do you think we're going to get? Everyone, post in the comments down right now. What do you think we're going to get from this fossil? If it's a Cranidos, 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 if it's Cranidos, I will cry. Like, I will literally stand here and I will cry. Um, it's still spinning, though, so it's taking a sweet time. But, uh, yeah, so who would have thought we would have got a fossil and, um, oh, what what is it? Oh, it's an old amber. So that's pretty cool because the old amber. Oh wait, old amber. That's um, and that's uh, that is. It's not. It's uh, the flying guy. Yeah, Aerodactyl. So that's really cool. Aerodactyl. We're gonna get. Damn it! I'm gonna keep hitting uh, the wrong button. So oh yeah, we could have just checked right there. But wow. So can we incorporate an Aerodactyl on our team? I think we could do that. You know what? I think we could totally do that. So let's see, let's see if, can we hit 100 likes for this, and oh, dude, fossil room, do not disturb if the light's on. So is the light on? Oh, no, it's not on. Uh, how do I turn on the light? I don't know. Well, hopefully no one comes in and disturbs me, so yeah, let's actually, let's get this thing, and maybe, maybe if we get a one in a million chance, we will actually get a shiny. Probably not, because shinies are actually really, really uncommon for fossils, but nonetheless, I will cut back as it is, uh, finishes up. And I am back, and here we go, so we can retrieve our Pokemon as such, and here we go, we got Aerodactyl, so that's awesome, I mean, I was not ready for that, but Aerodactyl, totally, it's really useful that we actually got it this early on, because since our team is so young, and uh, since all that, it is really, really good, so it is the bold nature, which increases defense and lowers attack. That actually kind of sucks, <laughs> but, um, oh well, it is a really, really fast Pokemon, that's one thing I should note, and it has Ice Fang, Thunder Fang, Supersonic, and Bite, so those are some pretty goddamn good moves, so, um, yeah, let's go, uh, let's go try and train this guy up now, I mean, hell, we gotta go, uh, make this thing into a beast, as, um, we can ride it, right? Oh, yeah, we can. Awesome. So we could almost, I feel like we could almost get rid of Salamence. I don't want to do it just yet in case we run into, well, not get rid of them, but put them in our PC. Yeah, got to be careful with what I say there. But, um, yeah, I feel like we are almost at that point. There's some guy battling some other guy. And um, who sent, wait, whose was the Blaziken? Whose was, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> not going to question that. I just wanted to enjoy a nice little flight around on Aerodactyl. And hopefully we can get some pretty good moves on him. 
We'll see how well or badly that goes. So let's see. We're going to throw him out against. We got, he's got to have his first battle. And he does have some pretty, pretty good moves. So let's see if we can't take on this Pidgey. And we do have Thunderfang. So that will help us. He's going to sand attack us. We are still super effective as I... um. Something weird happens mid-sentence. So we get Thunderfang, hopefully going for the power hacks as he is just sand attacking us all day. God damn it, Pidgey. And I apologize for that, but we are back. And now we can Thunderfang yet again. Oh crap. Well, there it was it, it was it was uh, he had good intentions. We almost got him. So we get Thunderfang with Jolteon instead, which will actually be much better for us. Then we get Pokey Heal if I could find it. So slash Pokey Heal. And nope, nope, we don't need that W. No W, please. Let's go see if we can't find some really, really fancy schmancy moves for him. So we got the Rhydon over there. He's kind of scary. Not too interested in battling him. Goofing is an easy way to get permanent. Oh no. Oh no. What the hell happened? Okay. Well, a bunch of people just DC'd. So I'm going to Zen Headbutt. Because, and we'll miss the Zen Headbutt. <laughs> but Machoke, yeah, one, one hit KO with the Zen Headbutt. So I don't know what happened there. That was weird and quite peculiar. But hey, I'll just uh, I'll accept it like it's fact. And we'll continue on. And it looks like they are going to begin raising walls or something soon. So, oh, we think we could recall Salamence there. And let's see what goes on. So let's go travel into the depths of this place over here. Oh, baby. Our boss Atkins, baby. This is also why you got to make sure to have these guys. So let's see how many levels we could get with this this guy from the boss Atkins. So we can just use a very easy. Holy crap. What the hell? He's going to haze. Ooh, Zen head by doing tons and tons. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. There you go. So killing him in, oh my God, he gained 7,000 experience on his first go. So his first time getting experience, he gained 7,000. He's going to learn Roar. We can replace Supersonic with Roar because Roar is actually a pretty, pretty good move to have. And he's going to learn Agility, not as great of a move. And let's see, what do we got? We got Rock Smash, a Power Bracer, an Electrolyzer, an Aluminium Hammer, and a Macho Brace. So Rock Smash is not too bad of a move. It is raining though, and everyone knows we, we absolutely hate the rain. So we're going to do... Sl oh, it's a thunderstorm. I was going to turn it off, but no, we're going to embrace the thunderstorm, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I've left that stuff on the ground. Whoops. That's not good. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even realize that. So uh, let's see. We have to make room. We don't need you. We don't need you. We don't need you. And we continue on. So what I'm going to do actually is lower the sound a bit though, because rain is always really obnoxiously sounding. So we can continue on and jump jump so let's see we, that was a, we got we got quite a few levels for aridactyl right off the bat so that's awesome for us and what we're going to try and do now is he does have ice an ice move which is pretty good why the hell did i that roar we're actually really fast which is a, a good thing but um yeah so he he does tend to have an extremely high speed stat uh i think it's almost comparable to jolteon so jolteon's level 35 or 17 so um, i think it looks like we're gonna be a bit lower than jolteon but still nonetheless a ridiculously high speed stat so we got a polywag hanging out over here so let's thunderfang him trying to take him out finish him off and he's actually faster than me ironically as i'm just boasting about his speed so i'm gonna miss wait what happened how'd i I don't know, but, um, oh yeah, we got to be careful with battling those water Pokemon because they could, uh, they could, we're rock and flying. So definitely kind of got to be careful, got to be wary about what kind of moves they use against us. So let's see if we can't find anybody else to battle as I don't quite see anyone. And we got a few polywags hanging out over there. Let's see. Do we got, do we got anyone over here? We have another portal. Unfortunately, no, no real use going to the nether and Pixelmon except for, um, except for getting stuff. So let's see, where is, um, we're going to go into this biome again, because we, we tend to have some pretty good luck. We are still looking for a Swin, oh wait, no, we're not looking for a Swinub anymore, because, uh, oh yeah, and that was, that was the name of him, Swinub. Actually, let's go to, let's go to my T spawn, because, uh, yeah, I don't know, I'm always, I'm always wandering around, what is this? Oh, okay, so there's tons of, uh tons of messages there what we're gonna do though is we're gonna go travel over here i always get feathers you, you always get those random pixelmon drops that you really don't want but you kind of get stuck with anyway for better or for worse so it looks like a party of magikarps did spawn unfortunately none of them seem to be shinies as uh, a shiny magikarp would make my day right about now but not not finding one of those i mean a fossil pokemon is probably enough enough action for one episode so i, I don't know why i'm battling this guy he's gonna kill me or maybe he's not. Oh, we got a power hacks. Are we still going to be faster? 
Uh, oh, this is quite interesting. And uh, getting the full power. He's just going to use one move. All right, he's horn attack. If he could horn attack one more time, I will be able to survive. He's getting the power hex. Oh, damn. Aerodactyl pulling it out for us. So that is absolutely awesome. And now Aerodactyl can pretty much hold his own. So what I'm going to do is switch things up. Actually, no, I'm just going to throw everything on the floor and make a mess of myself. And I keep hitting P. I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Quite frustrating, but it's okay. So we do have a power bracer, and that just gives you, uh, that increases your attack stat, so that would be almost smart to give to someone. I mean, Salamence does have one right now, but um, not uh, not going to do that just yet, maybe a little bit later. So what we can do, though, is we, get, we do got a few more Pokemon in the water, and did I run out of food? Did I use all my bread? Wow, I did. Wow, that's actually kind of not good. Um... Well, we could always address that later. What I'm going to do, though, is actually try and travel. Let's do some uh, let's do some expeditioning, as we have done in the past. But it's more fun doing it this way. Uh, so we could we could go explore the world with Parad er, Paradactyl. Aerodactyl. He's going to try and water sport. That's actually kind of scary, because if he gets any water moves off on me, he could potentially kill me, because I am a rock-type Pokemon, as we do know. So we could Thunder Fang. He's going to Fury Attack. Luckily, he dropped the ball on that one. He could totally have killed me. Ice Ball. User continuously rolls into, into the target over five turns to become stronger each time it hits oh so that's exactly like rollout um and i guess we could get rid of growl for that and feel gaining quite a few levels from that so that's quite good holy crap but yeah jesus body slam what you learn body slam at level 18 my god spiel you are a god and um Aerodactyl even learning a few levels, but um, I did not expect him to learn that move that early. So we have Lady, Lady, I don't even know how to say his name, Lady Buzz Evolution, Ladian, Ladian or something like that. Now we could Ice Fang him to try to do as much damage as possible, getting the freeze. <laughs> That's what I like to see, Aerodactyl. So hopefully we'll learn Crunch soon, but otherwise having all these bites isn't too bad. It's just they don't do too much damage, and I don't know if Aerodactyl learns Ice Punch. Because Ice Punch is a really, really good move. It's just uh, sometimes it would be, it would be, um, it'd be kind of like I don't know. I don't think Aerodactyl exactly has arms, so it doesn't make sense for him to have it. So I'm gonna guess he's not gonna be able to learn that. But hey, I've been wrong before. So we got a little five Magic Harp hanging out, just swimming around in the water like nobody's business. And let's go travel on this way. We'll see what we could find. Hopefully, we can find another good, good Pokemon. We do have this guy hanging out right here. So let's see if we can't battle another Sea King, as the last one did give us a ton, ton of experience. So let's do that one more time, two times. He's just gonna continue to fury attack us, but we gotta get that Power Hacks, and we should be fine. Hopefully he doesn't do anything now. But see, yeah, now we actually are outspeeding him. And Sphiel leveling up, Aerodactyl leveling up both twice. And Ancient Power, so this is always the peculiar time. And Ancient Power, is that special attacking? I believe it is special attacking. And I almost don't want to get rid of anything, right? I mean, well, I guess we could get rid of Bite, because it's not our stab. It's not really anything. But, um, I don't, yeah, I don't really think Ancient Power is going to be too good on us, because... It is special. I mean, we have, we do have it. We did delete it on, um, what you might call it. Also, we did delete it on, uh, on the other guy, and it didn't really do too much on him either. On uh, Car Caracosta. So I do apologize about that. But we are back. So let's see. We got, we got Lit Litic Litic. Oh, Waterville. There's a town over here. Oh, what the heck? There's a town over here? I didn't know that. So let's go check out Waterville, as I, I imagine that's what that town's going to be. And Driftblim trying to make something happen here, so maybe he will, but um, it does not look like it's going to happen. And Aurora Beam. The target is hit with the rainbow-colored beam that may also lower the target's speed attack. So uh, I guess we could get rid of ice or powder snow. I did not see all these ice moves. Very, very new to me. And all right, so Munchlax even wants to battle me as well. <laughs> Everyone is just battling me right now. So we have this giraffe dude. And giraffe dude's kind of scary because we don't got anything super, super good against him. And he's going to kill me. So I'm going to Ice Fang now. And nope, he's going to just, he's just going to straight up kill me. So we can switch into Jolteon who can Thunder Wave. And then what he could do is, oh my God. Giraffe dude, giraffe dude just sweeping the floor with us, and uh, we could cl no, we'll flame wheel him, and hopefully we can get a burn, oh, we're not going to get a burn because he is that, he's going to crit us, so I'm going to have to close combat here, and that's what's going to make it happen. Sveal is the one that comes out on top there, because he, or she gained all of that good experience, so go Sveal, 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 not Sveal, what's a Sveal, no, Sveal. So, we have a large town over here. I did not know this was out here. I mean, um, so unfortunately, this is probably going to mean that all the Pokeloot stuff is gone. 
Um, town renovation. Please move chest items. Oh, so it looks like the town was being renovated recently. And we get that stuff from killing a Meowth. So we got Peter just hanging out, Mr. Level 5 over there. So what we're going to do is jump on Aerodactyl because uh, he actually does have quite the smooth flying. I mean, I got to admit, he, he is he is quite enjoyable to fly on. So let's see if we can't find somebody to... Uh, or I, what I really want to see is a Pokey Loot chest because those things are awesome. It's always exciting when you find them. The mystery, the suspense of what you could possibly get. And we just fly right back into the the uh whatchamacallit so that to it uh, into the rain so let's get out of there and we'll just try and hang out over the desert and hopefully we'll be fortunate enough to not be caught so let's see um we do got that thing going on there we got some sand i mean we got got a lot of sand actually got yeah got quite a bit of sand i mean that's to be expected is the rain still here rain sucks I mean, in real life, I love rain. Oh my god, look at this. Look what we've stumbled upon, ladies and gentlemen. A nice village, and it looks like people have come here and killed everything because... Oh no, the villagers are still here. Hmm, so you could give me some apple. Oh, actually, you know what? So we could go to spawn, and uh, where do we buy stuff? Where do you buy sell stuff? Right here. Um, Potion, Pokeball, Antidote, Revive. What the hell is this? Gullible badge, not official. <laughs> um, let's see, diamond, emerald, emerald. So what we can do is buy some emeralds. So or a stack of emeralds. How much money do we have actually? So we have five hundred dollars. So do I have anything to sell? Um, we could go to slash backpack. We never use any of these items. So these like held items. We may want to at some point, but for the time being, since we're not really using them anyway, I'm kind of inclined to try to sell them all. Like the ether max potion, the revive I want to keep just because we only have one and it's cool. But uh, most of this other stuff, we actually we can let's get the other electrolyzer in there. We don't have any room for rock smash yet, or for all sweat. But yeah, so we could buy a few emeralds and um, then we could go slash back and let's go find that villager again, Mr. Villager. What the hell happened to here? Someone destroyed that home. So whoa, whoa, villager, villager, relax, bud, relax. So if I give you 15 of those, you'll give me some of that, and uh, that's actually a pretty way, good way to make money. Oh, hello, hello with the cooked chicken villager. So, uh, hell yeah, let's get 28 cooked chicken. That was way worth it. So, uh, thank you, villager. That was that was a really good trade-off. So, I'm happy that we did find that. We have a Geodude hanging out. He's just like, hey, how's it going? I hang out with the village. Yep, um, kind of a big deal around here. No big deal. No big deal. What is that? I see something. I've spotted something. Oh, it's raining again. So, we're going to jump back on Aerodactyl, but we can't because we don't have a free hand. So, we could go like that. Luckily, the villagers were able to sell us a substantial amount of food. It should hold us off for quite a while. Oh, it's one of those well things. So we could battle Dugtrio, and we should be able to Ice Bang him. That's super effective, right? Yeah. All right, just making sure. I thought it was, but I wasn't 100% sure. There's like there's like a total, there's like a 20% chance it was just not going to be super effective, and I was going to look like an idiot. But you know what? We were right, so it's A-OK. -okay. And what is that over there? Is that like a village? I don't know what that is. It's a ruins. <gasps> we found the secret unknown ruins. No, it just looks like it's some guy's home. Made out of sandstone. No. Oh, no. Is this naturally spawning? Um. Hmm. Oh, no. So some guy's home. Hello, you're clo from your close neighbor. Well, so yeah, it looks like some guy was living there. He's probably gone now, unfortunately. But uh, more unfortunately, it is still raining, so what we can do is jump on you to just get uh, get out of here. We'll go try and battle some more rock Pokemon, because that seems to be quite attractive for us, considering we do have some pretty good moves for battling rock. Uh, he's trading four diamonds for that TM. We actually could sell him that. I'm not going to, though, because I'm a horrible person. No, because um, I just don't. Holy crap, we got a crit, but he's about to kill me. We better don't die. Please don't. He critted me twice? What? So we'll Oreo Beam and we could probably clean it up. Uh, there you go, Sfeel, coming out on top there. But um, how did he crit me twice in a row? That is a little bit redonkulous. Holy crap, this guy's actually a little bit redonkulous. Well, Ice Fang him, he'll probably... That was a crit, too. He did about the same damage with not critting me and with it being not very effective. So we could... Okay, or he'll just do that and kill me. You know what? You know what? We'll Oreo, be Oreo Beam you... Whoa! Whoa, Sfeel. Holy crap. So, Hail. User summons Hailstorm lasting five turns. It damages all Pokemon except Ice types. 
I kind of want to take that. We could ditch Ice Ball, and I mean, does Hail work yet? I don't know, but that's, he just swept the floor with him, Spiel. I'm, I'm quite impressed. I am quite impressed indeed. So what we can do, oh, I didn't want to do that, because it's not going to, yeah, <laughs> it's not going to have any effect. So we could do an Ice Fang instead. And he's going to try Magnitude, but I am flying, so it's not going to have any effect on us. Good trade-off there. So let's go see if we can't make something happen with Sfeel again. Sfeel clearly being the dominant force here. So let's see, can we uh, put that there and put that? Nope, nope, okay. If I, uh, it's still that, that is so frustrating. <laughs> so we can give that to you, and we can give the Lucky Egg to Sfeel. And let's see, we'll go battle you. Oh, you're really low level. Oh, uh, man, I thought it was going to be a high level. And we get Aurea Beam, which is going to be extremely effective. So that is awesome. I didn't realize that was going to do so much damage. But uh, clearly, Sfeel brought his big boy pants, or her big boy pants, today. And she means business. So we're going to battle some of these Duck Trios. And uh, these Duck Trios, we did kill almost in one. Oh, no, these guys got pretty high defense. So, and he's going to crit me. I'm going to crit him. And, oh, Sfeel's evolving. I totally forgot about this. So it looks like Sfeel is evolving. I am actually quite excited about this. So let's see if we can't uh, can't get something out of this. As I drank a little out of that shake thing. But it's okay. So it looks like Feel is evolved into a Celio. So that is a lot easier to say. Swagger, the user en enrages and confuses the target. However, it also sharply raises the target's attack stat. Hmm. So that's interesting, um, but I think I'm going to keep Encore instead, because Encore is a really cool item. How did, why, what? <laughs> Wait, what? What just happened? How did I get this, how did this get on the ground? Uh, I don't know. I'm not really sure what just happened. It just, it evolved and threw up a, a aluminum hammer. Okay. Okay, not going to judge. Not going to judge. So what we can do, though, is battle Dugtrio, or we could try to battle Dugtrio. So this is Celio's first battle as Celio. And I gotta admit, Celio is quite the cool Pokemon. So let's actually body slam him. And what I kind of want to do... Oh, we got the Parahex there. Celio being clearly the force to be reckoned with. My god. So we got we got Croc, 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 Croc over here. And let's actually try a heal. A hell. A heal. A hell. So it's hurt by the hell. Oh, it actually does work. That is awesome. So if we could get like a cool ice team, that would be really nice. I mean, maybe we should just throw Mamoswine on this team as well. Just... Because why not? And we got Sandshrew. Look at Sandshrew hanging out on the cactus. Just like, yeah, I'm a big deal around here. So Sh Sandshrew just being an awesome Pokemon. I gotta admit, that was, that was pretty pretty commendable. He was just chilling on that ca cactus like nobody's business. So I'm going to hail. Now let's see if we can't. Uh, so he's going to get hurt by the hail. Well, Aurea Beam, he's going to try and fling me. Kai, please, please. You're going to... Oh, he low kicked me. Oh, crap. Now everybody's going to get hurt by the hail. Crap. Why would I switch into him? This is a horrible Pokemon to switch into in this situation. So we're both getting hurt by hail. But we can flame wheel him a few times. And the hail actually stopped there. That was five turns. Jesus, that went fast. So what we can do is Pokey Heal. So Seal comes back up. As Seal did finally die. But it's okay. Because did his part or her part. Uh, yeah, did her part, and uh, now we're now we're we're good to go. So we could go travel deeper into here. Got our chicken. We're definitely gonna have to go find that place again because uh, once we get some more emeralds, how much money did I actually spend for these? I spent about two hundred bucks for uh you know half a stack of chicken, so a little less. Wait, how much chicken did we get? We got like thirty or twenty eight, twenty. I don't know. About half a stack of chicken. So I gotta admit, that's that's a pretty good trade off. I'd do that deal again uh, if I could. Because some people are selling like carrots for like ten dollars each, and carrots feed. Actually, maybe that isn't as great of a deal as I thought it was. Carrots, no, ten dollars each. Carrots heal two, so chicken would heal three each. Thirty times three is ninety, right? And so that's ninety hunger things, and then carrots for ten each at two. So to get to ninety, I would have to spend. To, well, let's just say it's 100, so I would have to spend 50 at 2 each, that's 100, so, oh, maybe this wasn't as great of a deal as I thought, yeah, I don't know, my brain hurts from all the math I just did, and um, I think I did that wrong, someone, someone check, carrot, I think I was buying carrots for like 10 bucks each, I don't know, you know what, I'm gonna go travel back this way, and uh, we could go climb back up here, or not climb back, ah, okay, that was a close call. and I thought those were all Pokemon, but in fact, they are not, so we can, oh, okay, oh, okay, 
Well, you know what, Aerodactyl? You can you can fly us to infinity and beyond. We'll jump on you and we'll fly up, fly up, and we could go through the jungle biome as what is that? Oh, that's just a random piece of wood. So yeah, let's go see if we can find or go travel to the depths or the extent of this map as um, it has been quite a while. So, oh yeah, I forgot we can't fly in water anymore. So I'm actually going to start using our Pokey Radar because it does look like we are in some foreign territory or some un unclaimed territory at least. So, uh, or untrouched, untrenched, I don't know. I can't, I can't use the right way. Oh no, we're clearly not because that, that tree is broken. So we're going to have to go travel a bit farther it looks like to actually come to the territory we so desire. What is that? Oh, it's a bell sprout. And yeah, so there's a crafting table. Are you fucking kidding me? All right, I do apologize about that. We are back. So uh, let's continue on. We'll fly over this forest as it does seem like I do want to try and find some, um, you know, uncharted territory, uncharted lands, as I'm not actually sure if the entire map has been uh, discovered. I should should look into that. I, I really don't know, actually. Hmm. It's a definite maybe. I mean, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't want to say yes or no. And uh, so what we can do is try and use the pokey, pokey radar, pokey radar, pokey radar thing a bit more and see if we can't find any guys. It doesn't look like anybody, or I don't see any, and uh, we're probably a little bit too high up. Yeah, I see some, um, some used land though. So probably not. We could actually, since we're in the desert, we can run through. As I do want to get some more battling with Celio, because clearly Celio is a force to be reckoned with. He or she has absolutely destroyed many of these desert Pokemon in the this episode so far. So let's see, maybe if Celio could keep it up, I mean, I, I'm going to be quite impressed as, uh, again, just really being a force to be reckoned with. So let's see if we can't find anybody else. I don't seem to see anybody, unfortunately. It looks like this literally looks like a barren wasteland right now of uh, just desert. There's some water, though, so we should be fine. And ETF, um, what, electronically traded food? funds yeah electronically traded funds that's what etf stands for right yeah right etf yeah okay so well, what we can do though is uh, we can hail him and hopefully we don't die in the process so we can hail him no big deal and what did you just do i'm gonna encore him oh fudge <laughs> <laughs> maybe encoring him was not the best idea well he's gonna have to use that move so we'll should be fine i'll just close combat him one shot one ko or one hit one ko we could pokey heal yeah we got to be a little bit smarter about using hail i think because uh so far we have not been using it too wisely and it really doesn't do it doesn't do all that much damage it's a pretty good move nonetheless though it's definitely a mixer upper and um what is it what oh i know why I was like trying to figure out why uh, everything looks so weird. It's because I turned smooth lighting off, and uh, so I was like, I was like, all these blocks look really weird. But because I was, uh, I was filming something for it with a green screen yesterday, and the smooth lighting was getting in the way, and um, and that's why. So <laughs> I was really confused there for a little while, but we did figure it out, and we are encroaching on a, another snow biome. So this is this is going to be quite interesting. Let's see what we could find here. Some pretty cool Leo Pokemon, as we do know. Uh, Mammoth Swine, Pillow Swine, Celio. Celio clearly being a awesome Pokemon, as we have found with uh, it's just being, I don't know, it's just a cool Pokemon. I mean, look at this guy. Look at him. Isn't he just adorable? I love him. So what we can do though is continue to travel deeper and deeper into the form or into the biome itself. Now let's see if we can't find, holy crap, what is that? We have found some epic structure, it looks like. So let's see what this, see, this is why it's kind of fun to just travel into the wilderness, because you could find stuff like this. Like, what the hell is that? And I'm actually going to fly over to it. Wait, Celio cannot fly. Celio is like a fish out of water. But uh, what is this? This is really cool, is it not? I mean, it, it, I like the whole, uh, it's not stairs, so I'm just going to fly all the way up. But uh, this is pretty cool, and it looks like a giant thing. Ah, okay, okay, close call, close call, but we are fine. Okay, okay, careful, 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 got to land appropriately, and there you go. Huh, this is really cool. Who's is this? So this is Kiki, and uh, yeah, I got to admit, that's really cool, in the middle of nowhere, which probably would not expect anyone to find it, but now that I made a video of it, I'm sure people will find it. It looks like she was trying to get some ice, because there's a giant path of ice. Actually, it looks like a bunch of people travel. Oh, look, we got a town. So where are we? Oh, we're, we totally traveled back towards spawn. Oh, I must have made a U-turn at some point and traveled back into spawn, because I know exactly where I am because of that building. 
And um, but it looks like look at this town. This is really cool. Dutchcraft. This is really cool. Oh, this is all out of Dutch. What the hell is this all in Dutch? This is awesome. Look at the flags. That's awesome. Stands back. That's actually really cool. So Dutchcraft, awesome. And then you got this big building over here, and there's Spawn itself. So I think this is as good a time as any to end the episode. So I do thank you all for watching. We did fortunately get a beautiful Aerodactyl, and almost at level 30, as well as Celia. We discovered the hidden nature and power, well not the hidden nature, but the hidden powers and ability of Celia. So props to him for that. Getting a bunch of Swinups. Let's actually see. If I could catch this Swinup, if I could catch it with one Pokeball, I will give away a Minecraft account. So, uh, let's see which level. We'll go with the level 11. If that Ultra Ball catches it, I'll give away a Minecraft account. Nanit, 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 nanit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is actually may work. Oh my god. I may have to give away a Minecraft account. Oh, it worked! <laughs> it doesn't Swinob have like a ridiculously high catch rate? And it's quirky. Wow, I was not expecting that. So it looks like I have to give away a Minecraft account. So if any of you have been uh, urging for a Minecraft account or desperately waiting for one, we, uh, well, there's going to be one given being given away by me soon. So I do thank you all for watching. Let's see if we can hit 100 likes for the giveaway of the Minecraft account. And uh, yeah, so uh, that's awesome. I thank you for, again. I thank you for watching. See you all next time.